Hey everyone, welcome to the Outlet Podcast channel. My name is Gazy, and thank you very much for stopping by. Now, why am I putting this episode? It's a totally new thumbnail image, and that's why you're probably interested. Well, uh, apart from doing my podcast, which is in the back, and my various vlogs uh, on my channel, you know, I got the book club where we're talking about... Um, the Diary of Anne, of a Young Girl, Anne Frank, and The Narrative Life of Frederick Douglass. I got my Solely and Holy segments where j I just talk about issues concerning my faith as a born-again Christian to educate those who are not Christian and to edify those who are. Hmm. That sounds pretty good. I'm like, I gotta write, I'm gonna watch this video and write that down. That was pretty good. Um, apart from that, my, my um, arts, my comics and crafts section where I just color, uh, <laughs> my my comics and crafts yeah where i just color um and the other uh segments that i have i wanted to do a new one and uh this one was inspired by the youtube community now i was watching uh a rooster teeth production uh this one anime style show that they have called ruby i consider it anime it follows the same. Uh, it follows all the guidelines as far as Japanese animation goes. You know, just because it's not written or drawn or whatever by people who are actually in Japan does not mean it shouldn't be properly credited. And I think it's. I think it is. People cosplay it all the time, and it's really cool that it's. I mean, there are all there are heroines in anime. There are, but to see it in american style anime it breaks like it breaks some barriers and it's pretty cool there are a lot of different character develop there's d character developments there are traits the art style um the music in the background is like a plus that's some of the hardest things to do the voice acting very well done very well produced so apart from uh, explaining why i'm doing a new series i also wanted to give props to rooster teeth and I suggest that you go to their channel after this video and just watch because it's great stuff. Um, that's RWBY. So uh, I was watching this video and they have two characters. And uh, the young guy, the guy, his name is uh, Joan or uh, Joan. And the girl is named Pira. They're unbelievably polar opposites. You know, uh, Pira, she's amazing athletic she's kind of like spartan greek um soldier mythological soldier like amazonian also like I, I see those influences in her costume style and it's really cool definitely really cool um and she's pretty much the best she's perfect S on the opposite end there's joan and his name in french means young so I looked up like I was just watching well, as I was watching the series. I noticed that he I mean, he's just like lucky to even be alive. And there came this um, this uh, denouement of sorts where he just kind of like he was just wondering, why am I even in the school? And little by little, Piro was like gravitating more towards him, more towards him. And I'm not going to spoil anything. I don't want to. I don't wish to. But. I mentioned in the comments below in that thread that, you know, I felt like Joan for a long, long time because uh, I was uh, going after this one girl. And it's been two years since that girl and I have, you know, tied the knot. And we both said that we do. And there were so many people that were in the YouTube community. Uh, they were applauding. They were saying, this is, you know, this is amazing. That's awesome. Tell us your story. Tell us your love story. And so that's what I want to do. So this segment is going to be uh, about um, my love story. And, you know, or I might call it uh, I don't know. I, I got. I'm. I really want to come come up with a cool name. So I'm kind of. I was thinking like, um, like breaking the friend zone, or uh, yeah, maybe like breaking the friend zone or something more romantic. <laughs> not so. Not something so aggressive. Like yeah, conquer the friend zone. But um, yeah, I want to share some of. Not it's not my opinions, but how this happened in my life. 
um, you know, part of it has to do with my faith. Part of it just has to do with being brave, tolerating a lot of stuff because uh, you got to tolerate a lot with parents. Um, you have to tolerate parents um, because, I mean, you're, you're dating their daughter or their son. But guess what? You're, you're involved in their lives, too. I don't know. There, there seems to be this like misconception with people that it's like I'm not dating you. Like I'm not dating your parents. I'm dating you. I'm not marrying your parents. I'm marrying you. Uh, like you are involved in. It's like y yes, you are because you're. It's like two circles that are like coming together, and there's gonna be like that Venn diagram where both circles have their independent sections. But there's one section in the middle where the worlds collide. Power Man 5000. Worlds collide. No. <laughs> so <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a section in between the two circles where, where you have to deal with issues. So, um, yeah, I guess. Um, okay, I'll start off there then. Uh, that's something that I had to deal with. Um, when I first got to know... Okay, when I first g got to know my wife, um, like when I first got to know her, I uh, I'm stammering because that's how it how it was. I re I was really out of my league. This girl was amazing. Like she was pulling straight A's. She was. She graduated, um, you know, University of Central Florida with uh, her bachelor's degree and like no loans because scholarships paid it all off um she's the she's the oldest daughter of two other girl of her two sisters and she's the brightest in my opinion so i was like like i w when i saw her i was just like stunned i was like i would like to have her in my life like i and like it like the same like stammering like you, you see it I, I i this is how i started off like sha i was unbelievably out of she was way out of my league way way out of my league i was stammering and shy um there was one time during christmas where i w we were talking on facebook and uh she told me that i, I don't know why i said what is your famous what, what is your favorite natural disaster i asked her that I asked her, what's your favorite natural disaster? And she told me tornadoes. <laughs> and I was, when you're dating, you think of the most stupidest stuff. And yeah, so um, what I did was I got her, I think I got, like, I, I don't know, I got her something, but I also got her a DVD copy of Day After Tomorrow. Don't laugh. I got her a copy of Day After Tomorrow because she liked tornadoes and I was like I think I got her twister I got her twister and day after tomorrow because tornadoes that's why so that's what like um the butterflies in your stomach will make you do that's what they'll do they'll make you do like the most craziest uh the most craziest thing so I guess like I really want to be able to be more organized in these videos. I definitely do, because uh, I understand. In co as far as content goes, I you know you want to uh, follow things that are like linear. But when it comes to like love, uh, love it it just takes you out. It like knocks you back, and you can't. There's no foothold. There's no re You can't hold on to anything you can't grab onto anything you just gotta fall back and just and just just soak it in you know so yeah like that's how that's one of that's one story of how of you know of how i met this girl and how i fell in love with her so uh i'll keep this going i'll share like stories every i'll share stories like you know once every so often and I hope that it can bring, you know, bring you some um, inspiration. So, and ask me questions below because that way maybe I can be a little more organized and I can answer any uh, inquiries that you might have. And, you know, sincere stuff. I don't mind. Um, so let me know in the comments below. And 
you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com backslash outlet podcast. Subscribe. I need more fans on Facebook. So find me on Facebook and subscribe here on YouTube as well. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys, four things. Like, comment, share. Like, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please. Um, also, on Periscope, sometimes I do some things that are live. My podcast, Outlet Podcast, is on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, and Blueberry. Google Music or Google Play Store, the music section, they are including an out uh, podcast section. And my RSS feed got accepted. So you can find it to find the content right there. Um, and yeah, I'll just leave it there on Twitter at Outlet Podcast. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. So you guys, uh, let me know what you think. And I'll just keep on sharing uh, these love stories. So uh, God bless you guys. Connect and recharge. <laughs>